Oh my gosh. You doing me like I used to yo, do my yo. dad. <laughs> one, two. <laughs> one, two, one, two. Cooking me. Oh, man. Yo, yo what's up, y'all? It's the one only hip hop gamer. Hot 97, Logitech G. You already see. You already see. I got the legend in the building. Jaleel White. My dude, what's going on, baby? What's, up, what's going on, what's son? Up? You see this chain? See this yeah, chain man. right here? Yeah, man. We don't get that in LA a lot. Oh man, see that that's, that, that's legendary now work. Why you, now I see why you pick Kobe. Like so, it's, it's like, <laughs> all right. So I gotta ask you a question in terms of the Lakers. Wait, matter of fact, let me get this. Uh, what up? Let me get all this stuff set up right. I want no excuses. No, I, I, I'm not. I'm gonna tell you what's gonna happen right now. He about to get my chain. Word up. Let's go. <laughs> let's go. All right, cool. So we should be straight now. Um, all right, let's go to this. All right, so first, just to let y'all know what we're gonna do. We're going to play one-on-one Allen Iverson versus Kobe Bryant because we already know Jaleel White got crazy skills on the court. So we're going to see where his skills is at in the game. real court, man. And stuff like that. <laughs> we, no. No. You ain't, I ain't have you destroy me on the real court right yeah, now. Yeah, what? Yeah, you know I what noticed saying? that. Like, you like, want to go to a real court? <laughs> no, not right. You know what? After this, you never know. You know what I'm saying? I'll be out in L.A. a lot. So maybe, you know what I'm saying? I, I got skills on the court, too. I was just at a celebrity game and we won. This is a new generation. They're wearing J's to play video games. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all love it. So, all right. So, now, before we get into the game, um, is, is anybody in the chat and everything like that? Yeah. You got, uh... One love and God bless everybody. Drop your city. Drop your city in the chat so we can shout you out and show you love. Now, first things first, man. We got the uh, the QYM Festival yes. coming up um, this Sunday, uh, July 21st. Yeah. Like, how did that all come about, man? You hosting. This is fire, and I love that you're doing something for the youth, as always. Talk to me about that, well, man. The, well, the thing is, look, I got a, I got a nine-year-old daughter, so I, I definitely get roped into things, man, where that involve kids. Um, I've, I've never had a bad experience being around kids, motivating kids. And, uh, I just feel like that's the only reason that uh, that's the thing that really motivates me to do anything at this point, to be quite honest, wow. is just educating the youth about, um, you know, what's coming around the corner tomorrow. Even this, this is like, Doug, I'm sorry, but I got to say, like, you're the youth to me still. Like, wow. this is like, <laughs> like, this is. Yo, I mean, that feels this, good to hear. Like, this is, this is so next level. You got all the different platforms, the, 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 the content on, on streaming on one side. I mean, I mean, there's there's a lot of coding and algorithm work going into all this, <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is crazy. So, but uh, the Queens Youth Music Festival, I think, will get it'll be awesome for me to just you know see the young talent up up close, yeah. you know. Um, and um, yeah, I just I like for for young kids to be able to realize that I'm not that character. I'm me. Yeah, yeah you know absolutely. what I'm saying. Um, be able to see the distinctions. I'm like, yo, you were really acting. I'm like, yeah, yeah. Acting. You know what I'm saying? And um, and I love New York, so it was like yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's what I'm talking I, about. I gotta love New York. I mean, York. I was I was a guy that was in my youth going to you know, going to Rucker on just just to go. I remember going to Rucker oh. just to see just to see uh, me, Mace play. Um, oh wow, wow! Back in the day, so I'm really aging my uh, showing my, my age right there. <laughs> I was about to ask, have you ever played in a Rucker? I never played in a Rucker. I, I didn't. But be quite honest, I don't think Mace should have played. Oh. So I, I watched okay, him play okay. that day, but I don't okay. think he should have played. I have All respect right. for the game like that, where I'm like. Yeah. Hey, look, are you A court, you B court, you you know, you C court yeah, yeah. right now? And it was like, you know, it was, I mean, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was rough out there. It was rough out there. You know what I'm saying? Facts, man. It was rough out there. So now we about to play. So Ally please, Iverson. oh anyway, but come out, come yeah, out tomorrow. Yeah. I want to see the best that Queens has to offer talent wise, and that's that's the main reason why I'm here. Definitely, man. So make sure y'all come through. And I'm at the games there as well. You know what I'm saying? So after I smoke Jalil, I can smoke y'all. Yes. So make sure y'all come to City Please, Field. Please, I'm it's going begging down. for somebody 12 years old to come kick <laughs> his <laughs> So he can feel the way I'm about to feel right, right so now. So there, there, there you got to move your joint over to um, Ballers. Yeah, all right. There we go. All right, all right let's get it. So we're going to do game, uh, game seven, something like that. So we can play, like, yeah, let's do game seven. Yeah, yeah, we do game seven. You do game seven. This, this, this is stuff like that. So this is about to be something. Yeah, let's get wild. it in. Let's get it in. So Allen Iverson, who y'all think gonna win? Who y'all think gonna win? Like, like, let me know what they saying. Um, uh, you know uh, what they saying. Don't ask simple <laughs> questions. You know what they saying. Let's say. go, B. Oh man, yo, matter of fact, like, since we about to play basketball, like, you know, what was some of your like um moments like? Like on Family Matters with Grandma Ma. Oh, that's playing, great. Like, to, like how, how was that moment, you know, like playing with him? Now, wait, how come my joint ain't moving, dog? No, you gotta use the analog stick to move. Oh, I can't use it. Okay, okay, I see what's up. Yeah, oh, wow, you going way back to the PlayStation 1 days. Ooh. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, oh, let's go, baby. Oh, come give on, me that, man. Give me that, give me that, give me that, give me that. 
Y'all take it behind the line. Y'all take. Oh, you messed up. Oh, I messed up. Yeah, you gotta take it. By, you know what I'm saying? You gotta respect the line. You gotta take it behind the line. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, Air balls. In the let's go. Now. Let's go. So, and the thing is, when you shoot, you want to make sure that red line gets to the, get to the top, get to the side, like that, all and right. then release. Wow, you really gonna turn me into a gamer all over again? Yeah, that, that's the way it's supposed to be. Wasting my life like this. Just have you. Let's go. <laughs> let's go. Let's oh, go, baby. Oh, oh, let's go, oh, baby. You don't want it. You don't want it. This reminds me of. Um, I think what, what year was that when it was the um, Lakers and um, Philly in the finals? Come on, Let's man! Let's go, baby! Oh, you cold! Oh, you cold! You cold! Let's go! Oh, God, this is terrible. Let's this go, is terrible. Leah, I'm sorry I had to do it to him, Leah. I'm sorry. Oh no, she know exactly what she set me up for. She know. <laughs> Believe me. That one over there is heady. All right, let's go. Remember, use your turbo as well. Woo! Oh, 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 come on, man. Oh. How you missed that? No, no, I got a sharp learning curve. Relax. Uh, you ain't take it all the way back. Oh, come on. Let's take it back there, the noise. Yeah, you got to take it all the way back. When you see that red line pop up. Yeah, you got to take it back to the free throw line. No, no, nah, you got to take it back to the three-point line. Woo! Let's go, baby. This is bad. This is bad. Let's this is, go. We're looking at this shutout. I think this will happen on a real court. I think I'll do this to you on a real I think we should do that though. I think we should do that. Yeah, I think, yeah, I, I think, think we should do that. I think we should. I should go ahead and redeem myself. Yeah, I think we should. And we do can it. go ahead and set that up it, for it'd tomorrow. Be, it, it'd be cool if there's a court. Oh, well, tomorrow. Yeah, Let's we do, do that. that. We can set that up. We can set that I, up. I'm serious. Yeah, yeah, we'll yeah. record it and everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. Love, love us. Love. You'll be surprised. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I won't be surprised. Oh, get out of here! What you jumping for? What you jumping <laughs> for? Let's go, B. I feel so happy. Like you don't understand because like. I would like, feel happy too if I was whooping up on somebody 40 years old in a video game. <laughs> <laughs> like, like you understand, man. Like, like, <laughs> like I grew up, I grew up on you, man. And like, this is to be able to play you in the game. I like, yo, it's, this is a dream come true. It's yeah, an honor yeah, yeah, for me. It's yeah, yeah. an honor for me, man. For real. No, it's not an honor. You, you, you imagined this. You dreamt about it. And you, you, and you set the, the rules. You set the rules. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's go. Come on, oh, give so me you gotta something. Get one. You gotta get one. Oh, this is Kobe. This is ridiculous. Cash. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! Dang, that was a shutout, man. I didn't mean to do you like that. I didn't mean to do you dirty like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry, but I didn't mean to do you dirty like that. So, but but check this out. Since, since I did you dirty like that, let, 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 now I got something else I want to bring up to you. What up? So. Now, one one thing I want to ask, and I like to ask people this from a, a personal standpoint: What's one of the moments in your life where you probably felt like you was at your lowest and things couldn't get any worse, but you managed to find strength in that moment mm -hmm. that allowed you to be successful today? Woo, man, that's a loaded question, man. Man, that's a loaded question. Um, I'd probably say Dance with the Stars. Really? Wow. Yeah, Dance with the Stars, man. It was it's, it's a really tough competition. And um, it's just, it, it beats your body up. I probably, I took Epsom salt baths like like every other night after a while. I lost 16 pounds during the show. Yeah, I went, I, went, um, I mean, I went down to a whole nother pan size. Damn. Uh, down to a, from a 34 to a 32 um, over the course of nine weeks. But um, it was like, the best way to describe the show is, it was like the Hunger Games. Mm, I love the Hunger Games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's crazy. So Hunger Games fun to watch, not so fun to live sometimes. But <laughs> yeah, yeah, that facts. I wouldn't. That's crazy. I wouldn't have thought that from a show like that. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? No, they don't want you to think that. You know, but it's like you know the it's a very well produced show. Got you. So you know they they had their favorites. You know what I'm saying? And there's people that have mad dancing experience. Yeah. But they don't necessarily make sure the audience knows that. Yeah, nah, absolutely. So absolutely. when I showed up. I was a lot better dancer than they expected, and that's not what they—that's not what they brought me on the show for. They oh. brought me on the show to be like Andy Dick tripping and falling all over my face. Got you, got you. But comic relief. Yeah. And they were like, oh, "This nigga's like kind of athletic." <laughs> and it's like, "All right, well, can you can you be a version of what we wanted you to be?" And so that just created a little bit of tension where I was just oh. like, "I came here to actually dance, like, and to the best of my ability," and it was like. This kind of sucks when you're trying to do your best and somebody would actually prefer to see you at your worst. Wow. Yo, wait a minute. Say, yo, please, please, can you say that again? Please. <laughs> no, it just, it just kind of sucks when all you want to do is do your best and, and the other person, you know, they just want to see you at your worst. Yo, I'm telling you right now, like, 
if there's not anything else that you do again in life, what you just said, bro, is so true because a lot of people that you may think is your friend oh, yeah. or your closest, <laughs> whatever, really be feeling. Yo, you don't understand. Like, you, yo, that will bring tears to people's eyes right now to what, what you just said. It's a scary reality, man. You know, there's a yo. There's one of my favorite quotes, man, is, you know, but this is just about life stuff. I mean, I feel like every your audience is real like that, but you know, a comment wouldn't be a comment if you didn't like them. Mm, yo. You know, it's like, I don't need God to protect me from my enemies. I need to protect me from my friends. Wow. You know <laughs> my, who your enemies my are. My enemies, I know who you yo, are. Th yo, <laughs> this is, yo, yo, you done, you done changed the game in this whole interview, bro. Like, like this is crazy, man. So, uh, wow. So, like, my, you know, my next question, like, would be this, right? You know, me, like, just personally for me, growing up, like, you, you're someone that I, like, admired and looked up to so much. And I'm going to tell you why. Because I'm looking at you and, like, you're a star, bro. At the same time, society-wise, when it comes to, like, a nerd or something like that, yeah. they'll try to beat you down. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And um, to me personally, you, you gave me so much inspiration from every episode to interviews that you did yo so sitting next to you is truly amazing for me personally so i love that yeah. i mean I, I can pay you a compliment back because it's like you know people act like we don't see what goes on online but i got you know i got a social media gal and she be on it and it's like family matters gets his ass kicked in all african-american polls like the number one show for african-americans from coast to coast is martin and i ain't got nothing bad to say yeah. about martin i love marty martin but I'm saying, I'm like, <clears throat> we get trashed. Like, we just did nothing good for the 90s. I'm telling you, like, it, what? It, I'm telling you. No, I get love. Yo, that's Hold a, I get love. What? Yo. I get love. And, and I also make sure I have a greater outreach than some of my other cast members, too. So I get love. But I'm saying, the show. I'm telling you, if you talk about it, like I saw something on BET that somebody Black forwarded coffee. to me. Yeah. Black coffee. But, and, and it was like, and people Lamar, act like people, don't, yeah, people, yeah, act yeah, like yeah, people yeah. don't forward that kind of stuff to me or whatever. And I'm just kind of yeah. like, again, I'm like, I'm not going to necessarily engage. Like, don't you have something to say about that? I'm like, I'm like, I'm not trying to be on the male version of The View. Like, yeah, whatever, yeah, you know, gotcha. like, that's what my man's feels. But I'm like, yo, that sentiment is out wow. there hugely. And I'm like, I kind of have the attitude where I'm like, I really love the 90s. People don't even love understand 90s, how special the 90s were. Because Come on. as cool Ooh. as all this technology was, there was once life before cell phones. Absolutely. And and you know, so you know, everybody it wasn't always about drip. You yeah. know, you grew up wearing whack outfits because you didn't yeah. have any damn style. Yep, yep. You know, like you know, I, I and I have clothes that much. I just played my game. I already know. So I'm like, your so, style had to be that, suspect yeah, when you was growing up. <laughs> it had to be. I know. I don't even have my to see the picture. Yeah, my style <laughs> wasn't that. <laughs> your style was not. Look. My style was whack too. You know what I'm saying? It's like we grow up in an age now where it's like you just automatically just have to have stylist instincts by the time you're seven years old. Yeah. And like, that's not realistic, man. I'm like, I used to actually, I used to, after tapings, I would go home with the Urkel socks on. Wow. Because I just wanted to change my clothes. Yeah. And just, you know, I would keep the socks on. And so the socks came up hella high on purpose. Yeah. And so I remember I was kicking it with Penny Hardaway, who's like my big brother. Oh, shout out to Penny, man. Right? Wow. And um, and so I was in Orlando. We were going to go to the mall. And I had packed up a bunch of, you know, obviously I got my clothes or whatever, and I have my socks. And I put on a short fit. And what I would do is I would take the socks and I would fold them down. I would have folded wow. joints down when I wore, right? And so That's I come crazy. downstairs and Penny's looking at me like, Greg, his assistant, what, what's wrong with this guy? Like, is he really going out like that? I'm like, what's wrong, man? I took the socks off all day. He's like, yeah. you don't know what footies are? <laughs> are you and, serious right and now? We went, Seriously? And we wow. went to the mall to Foot Locker. And first of all, that caused an incredible commotion uh, back in 1990, whatever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and these Negroes bought me, like, all new outfits. Because in my mind, it was okay for me to be wearing hoop socks yeah. with chill fits yeah, yeah. and just folding the sock down. 
<laughs> Yo, this is crazy. And I don't have a problem sharing that. Yeah, I can't believe it. With yeah, nobody. I never, you don't say this But I had crazy. more socks than anybody knew what to do with because of this character. Every Friday night, I have a big long pair of socks in my drawer. <laughs> so I was like, all right, I'll just pull the joints down. Well, you know, like the, sock, the socks I got now, you know what I'm saying? I got, you know, this is saggy. All right that was it. You know what I'm saying? I got saggy Street Fighter, so I got video game my socks. My stuff was... <laughs> Two, Urkel two, <laughs> but I would fold it down for fashion. Oh man, that's crazy. So now, wh one thing I want one, one thing I wanted to bring up because uh, when you were talking about how Family Matters got trashed, one of the things that I wanted to bring up, and I never forget this episode because this episode like it, it hit home even as a kid. So when I was, uh, I, I think uh, either 12 or 11 years old and stuff like that. Um, I had got stopped by police. Now, it's summertime, right? You're talking about the Eddie Winslow episode? Yeah, where yeah. He got so it's summertime. Up. I ain't got nothing on me. I got like, yeah. like, I got a shirt, shorts, and that's it. Yeah. They pull guns out on me, thinking I had a gun on me. The wind is blowing. Like, you see, like, I, what are you doing? But you, you, it was just shocking. And then I'm watching an episode, uh, you know, with Eddie Winslow and everything like yeah, that. Yeah, because Carl I, went to go see... The cops. The cops, yeah. And because he knew the cop. He was exactly. like, yeah, that was my son. I know the episode so, very well. And I look at that episode, and there's many other things that there's so many lessons in each episode. And when I see that, it just it just impacted my life. So anyone, I'm just, I'm just saying this for me, anyone that has an issue with family matters, don't look at it as face value and it's all about Urkel. Look at it for what it's actually telling you. That's the difference between mumble rap and someone that actually got balls like Jay and Nas like I said, and Ben, you, you know what I'm saying? You don't even get it. Like I'm, I'm, I'm crazy honored to hear you talk about it like that. Like, um, you know, you know. First of all, it's very difficult to be on television and not have white producers. Right. It, it, I don't know anybody. Like all this new era of like, you know, just you know, black from top to bottom, and, and right. you on HBO. No, that didn't happen. No, in fact, wow. like, yeah, like I can imagine. I'm happy we were able to pave the way for people to do that now, yes. and that it really, I mean, it gives us a, a much more authentic <clears throat> content. But um, I'm grateful that our white producers, they would find moments like that to break from the the universal storytelling that they wanted. They wanted their right. storytelling to be universal. So just like I'm sitting here talking to you right now, though, our show also does play in Sweden. Our show played in Korea. Our show played in Spain. Our show played in Australia. Our show because the bulk of our stories were universal. Right. But they didn't shy away and they didn't ignore something as important as that. And we did that same cop harassment story back in the 90s, 20-something years ago, and now it's even more relevant now. So it's like, you know, it's it's nice to at least hear that kind of thing because it's like, okay, wow, you know, you didn't, you didn't miss your responsibility back then. Yeah. And I was fortunate enough, to, again, because it wasn't my call. If they wanted to say we want to ignore this, wow, yeah, then that's just what we would have done. It wasn't my call. I was a kid, you know what I'm saying? I put this, put the script on the table. I, I got to do the script. So wow. when I go back and I sit dramatic, I'm like, I thank Tom and Bob and our producers um, for addressing the the, the African American community topical matters that that are still relevant today. Yo, God bless you, man. Like I know it's a few other people in here, but personally, I just want to clap it up for you, man. Like, seriously, man. Like, I'm, you're amazing, man. I'm not gonna Word clap up. for my 2K skills. <laughs> huh? I'm not. He set so, me up with that. Yeah, since, since you said 2K, we about to go back and play another game. So <laughs> can so we, we pass? Can yeah. I get some teammates, baby? So, so we gonna play a, another game. We are gonna ch uh, choose different uh, players this time. Then and then after this, um, I got a few more questions for you yeah, and stuff man. like that. And then um, I'll give you your gifts. Uh oh, I got everything. gifts. Of course you got gifts, man. Right. Yo, dude. Not only do I got gifts for you, like to me personally, it's a, just a gift. Like you being here, you existing. You bulk of energy, bro. I'm serious. Uh, no, you no, bro. Bulk. I'm dead serious. It's a gift for you just to exist here, cause things that you've done here on Earth that we can now look back and experience is helping lives, yeah. especially mine. Love you, bro. I, I mean that. I, I'm Thank not saying that cause it sounds nice. Like, dude. My grandma raised me right. Like, that's my slogan. So, bro, you you a real one, man. Thank, Thank you, man. Thank you. Now, let's go, bro. Thank you. Let's go. Sorry, I have to do the seat. <laughs> so, yo, we going He's back so to the game. He's so not apologetic. He's going back to He's the game, He's so baby. not really apologetic. So, come on. Can we play 5 on 5 and just dust me that way then? Oh, you want to do 5 on 5? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll do 5 on 5. There it is, man. Right. Just give so me a chance. 3 on 3, something like that. I gotta get, give me pass the ball to somebody. All right. <laughs> Maybe that'll help. I was always a All better right. passer than, than... All right, so you know what? So, shout out to Ice Cube. Anyway. Shout out to Ice Cube. We'll do a big three. There you, you know go. what I'm saying? We'll do a big three. Do a big three. right? You know what I mean? So... Since we doing big Yo, they three. Yo, be, they be throwing bows in the big three, though. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I love the big three. I love the big three. They go in, like, for real. 
Joe Johnson is a beast it, it, in there. It gets right real. Now. Who who threw? Somebody threw hands in that though. So um, I forgot who threw hands, but it's serious. So I'm gonna roll with Shaq. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna roll with uh um. You know what he do it though. Like, you like you you see this daily. <laughs> I'm gonna roll with. <laughs> and I'm rolling with Michael Jordan. Right, you pick your three. <laughs> Yo, let's go. Yo. Yo, I want to give a big shout out to my man Tavon, Craft Keepers Inc. in the building, gaming and guidance. Right. I'll give a big shout out to right. my man Alvin Samsung in the building. I'll give a shout out to Letitia in the building. I'll give a shout out to Aaliyah in the building. It's going down, man. Queens Youth Music Festival, uh, July 21st. All right, I see what's Sunday going on Sunday is going here. down City Field. Let's I see, get it in. I see what's going on here. I see what's going on. So I'm going to go ahead, since you're going to probably dunk on me, and just keep it accurate. We'll go with Alonzo Mourning. Ooh, all right, Alonzo Mourning got Zoe. Because he was dunked on several times by Shaq. <laughs> he was dunked yeah. on several times. Yo, yo um, anybody in the chat, if y'all got questions uh, uh, for Jaleel White, please uh, drop your questions. Shout out to Logitech G Hot 97. We're you know broadcasting on YouTube, I'm gonna go Twitter, with, Twitch, I'm going to go with the logo. I'm going to go Ooh. with the logo. You know what I'm saying? Just for the okay. diversity. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes black folks be forgetting about diversity too. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Chat? <laughs> <laughs> we, ain't got, we ain't got even one white dude on the court. <laughs> Shout to Texas, Florida, Florida Logos, Logos. Logos. Um, Virginia. Virginia in the building, ATL. ATL. Oh, okay, I know what I want. Let me see. All right, cool. Oh, um, any names you can say? So I can... Batson, Yo, Ricky Bats is in the building. Oh, please get here. You give right. a shout. Ricky Bats, please. Ricky Bats, what's cracking? Get oh. in here, save me. <laughs> Yo, Ricky Bats is a dope, dope, dope artist from the Bronx. Okay. This dude is serious. Ricky Bats, love you, bro. You already know what is it is. Is he coming man. out tomorrow? Um, that fact, actually, you should. Yo, Ricky Bats, if you could come out uh, tomorrow, you should definitely come out, man. Like we got a lot of stuff going on. You can be Jaleel White. It'd be great, man. Ricky Bats, uh, the Bats wave, yo. Um, who who else? So we can shout out. Scholar ninety seven in the building. What's up? Master K, shout out to Master K. All right, shout out to Mark. I don't know what that last one was. I want... Future the whole thing. Oh, all right, cool. All right, let's go. I bet. So I'm the ringers, and you got to switch it over to the ballers. All right, all right. So, uh, yeah, there we go. All right, there we go. There we go. All right, let's get it in. Uh, um, half, you want half court or four court? Well, it's half court. It's three, three yeah, on three. Yeah, half court, three on three. All right, all right, half court, and we'll make this one game 11. Half court. All right, let's go, y'all. Let's oh, go, this baby. Guy, this guy, man. Black top is going this down. You know really what I'm saying? Make me book a flight to come back and do this <laughs> a year from now. I don't just take whoopings like this, dog. Like, oh I'm not, man, it's not my personality. Man. Well, I'm. T well, look, I got skills on the court too. You know okay. what I'm saying? So if you, oh, if no you, doubt. If you want to play on the court, no, no, I mean no, that's. No, no, no. I, I can feel you solid. You know what I'm saying? I can, like, I can for feel real, you. we, we can rock. Saying? You know what I'm saying? I, yeah, I'm strong. You know what I mean? You got height. You got height. You got height. But you know, I could dunk. I got spud web in me. You know what I'm saying? So let's go. You can dunk. Yeah, of course. I'm five seven. I can dunk, bro. You can dunk. On I can dunk on ten. I can dunk on ten. We doing. We, I need to see that tomorrow. Let's go. I need to see that tomorrow. Wait, hold on. What the? Wait, you changing the? Wait, hold on. Why you changing the camera? What are you doing? What are you talking about? I ain't changing nothing. What are you talking about? All right, cool. I don't know why that's doing that thing. All right, cool. All right, let's go. All right, so X is the um, pass. I got. Oh. Oh, all right, all right. Now, if you hold turbo, okay. like it, you know, you're dumb okay. and stuff like okay. that. Okay. You okay. know what I'm saying? Right. Let's go. This is embarrassing. All right, let's go, baby. Oh my God, this is embarrassing. All right. Yeah. Come on. Just like in real life, Giannis's jump shot is, is not yet developed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. Seriously? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Oh, yeah. Give me that. Give me that. Put the ball to Jerry West. Let the white guy shoot from outside. What are you doing? Jordan. <laughs> oh! 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 Where's Turbo again? Crazy. Where's Turbo again? That's crazy. Where's Turbo again, guys? Uh, R2. 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 Y'all Can R2. I keep pressing R2 with AD, AD? Yeah, oh, let's see. go. Give me that. Give me that. Let's go. Oh, oh no, man. You, no, no, you ain't got that. Let's go, baby. This is embarrassing. Let's go. Oh, man. 
Oh, that was cute. That was alright. Cash. Oh, that was a foul. That was a foul. That wasn't a foul. There was a foul. Yeah, man. How you know what's a foul on the video game? Ooh, let's oh, let's go, LeBron, walking oh, in the God, air. This is, this is terrible. Walking in the air. At least you scored one time this, this time. Is, this is terrible. Give me that. Oh, right. he with the green light. Right. Okay. Let's oh, go. Damn oh, damn it. Oh, my God. Again. Again. Stay on the ground. Stay, stay on the ground. Quit jumping. Pour it up. Oh, man. Let's go, baby. Oh, okay. All right. I'm gonna figure some shit out. <laughs> oh, come on, man. You know what I'm saying? Wow. You know you can't guard Jordan like wow. that. Wow. You can't guard Jordan like that. You Jordan see what I'm rules, saying, huh? Jordan rules. <laughs> oh! Come on, you oh, man. Get up. Dunk on the logo like that? Come on, yeah. No have respect. Logo. We know. We know who the new logo is. You know. Oh, let's go. No, sir. No, sir. Green light. Oh. <laughs> Yo, I, I'm telling you, it's going crazy. I, I'm sorry, Aaliyah, I had to do this. You know what I'm saying? Aaliyah, do you game at all? Not at all. Oh, man. Oh. Come on. Let's go, man. You don't want this. You did a lot better this time, though. I told you, man, I got, I got a learning curve. You know what I'm saying? This is, this is, this is embarrassing what you're doing. I hope you don't do that on the real court. This, this, this is that's embarrassing. Just be like that. Get your shoes. Get, right. your shoes. Get your shoes. Oh. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Mike, so Mike is great, man. You see him on fire, for real. You still out of bounds. You still out of oh. bounds. You still out of bounds. Finally, a pass I can appreciate, and I step out of bounds. Oh, let's go! Oh my God! Game over. Game over. Game over. So we got a few more questions. This is the first time we'll I felt why people break controllers yeah. and stuff. <laughs> yep, yep. You, you learned it. You get it. <laughs> Yo. So I. Right. So I got a few more questions. Then I'm gonna give you a gift. So we go wrap it up, man. So now my next question, I gotta ask you this, man. How did your personal life change when you like walking around in the store and stuff like that the moment like the world saw Stefan or Kel Hilarious. For, for the first time Hilarious. like when that happened because I'm telling you right now me personally I was like you know like I ain't got a girlfriend but if I did she would not be allowed to be around you like, like for real it's like how people feel about Chris Brown it's like Chris I love you you yeah but get away from my girl. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how I think everybody felt, man. Especially when you threw the pencils in the air and made a heart. I tried to do that, bro. I tried to do that. And got in trouble because of you. I'm blaming you. <laughs> but yo, bro, what was life like? Like, when that oh episode God. came out, man. You know, it's funny, man. Like I said, um, uh, you know, life was different before cell phones, man. You know, um, back then, you were the last one to know you were famous. Wow, really? Okay. Because you knew you were famous based on how you were treated when you arrived somewhere. So now you got all this social media and stuff to, to, to say, oh, I'm a big deal before I even get here. Mm. That's not how it was back then. You got, you know, you did a few shows and then, you know, a, a PA came to the stage and was like, oh, Jamil, you got some yeah. fan letters. Oh, that's oh, nice. fan letters. Right, and you, then, yeah. then it's like, oh, you got some fan mail. And it's like, oh, okay, you get a little box. Oh, okay, Jalil, now you got crates of letters. Oh wow! Now you have crates of videos. I was the most impersonated person in uh, in the history of America's funniest home videos. Wow. So, Yo, it's so crazy. it was like, you know, there was a there's a humility in that, in that you don't really know the effect that you're having on people. So for me, wow. I didn't even really play Stefan. I thought the character was boring. Wow! And the executive producer was like, "Trust me, people need to see this." You know, for me, in my mind, my underdeveloped childlike mind, acting was a complete departure from who you were. 
Right. Whereas Stefan was basically just me over complimenting the Winslows. Wow. So I was just like, all right. And but when I hit that door, to this day I've never heard a scream that loud. I and I and I, I wanted to break character and be like, really? And <laughs> but I would never do that. I would never ever do that. I will always I will stay in character. Um, you know, it just it was one of those kind of things, man, where it was like it was way bigger than my understanding at the time. Yeah. Wow. Way bigger than my understanding. Well, I'll tell you, it was it was groundbreaking, man. So now I want to talk to about I want to talk to you about the Netflix uh, special, um, the uh, with the uh, roast thing. Yeah, 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 historical roast. Yo, bro, I'm gonna tell you something. I did not know you had it in you with the Muhammad Ali joint. <laughs> like when you did your speech and you was going at Bruce Lee yeah. and, and Babe Ruth, like the way you did the whole joint, you <laughs> closed <laughs> that. Yeah, you closed it. <laughs> Out. You closed that joint out, bro. Like I appreciate that you. was. I was like, yo, I was watching it last night. And I was like, yo, like, what can't you do? Like that. That's that's the impression that I got because it was that dope. Because you, you did it, but you did it your way, so nobody can ever say, oh, he's trying to. This dude is just great at what he does, and you showed it. I Simple like that. I appreciate How, what was that experience, you know, like, and will we get more of it? Um. Well, again, the honesty behind that one, I had 24 hours to figure out how to be Muhammad Ali. <laughs> you lying, bro. Nah, I, I, I'm walking off. But ain't no way. You lying. So 24? Because Jill. I was only hired to do Nelson Mandela. And um, and then, so I went to YouTube and it just kind of like studied a lot of Nelson's mannerisms to the best of my ability and um, knocked out Nelson. And then literally on the freeway, Jeff called me, Jeff Ross, and he was just like, Doug, you did a great job. Look, said, well, we're in a bind. Can you do Can you do me a favor? I'm like, well, what you need, Jeff? He's like, can, can you come back tomorrow and do Muhammad Ali? <laughs> and I'm like, are you serious? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm like, he's like, yeah, can you come back tomorrow and do Muhammad Ali? And uh, so I'm like, all right. And again, jump right back on YouTube. Uh, now I, looked at, I had a lot more source material for, yeah. for Muhammad Ali than, than Nelson. And um, you know, just watch some impressions that I've seen in the past. Uh, but that's what acting is, man. It's a, it's a total and complete departure. Wow. And um, you know, just picked up because you don't want it to become you don't want the mannerisms to become too cartoonish. Right. Because right. there's a way to take an impression too to a level where it's just kind of like it's farcical. It's not real. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I just kind of wanted to find that range a little bit. So most of the acting really gets done when I'm not talking. When somebody Yo, else is when somebody else is talking and I have to react, like that's that's, that's where the Nelson stuff was really even good because Nelson did this a lot, like a lot. Yeah, <laughs> uh, wow. You know what I'm saying? So. That's interesting, man. That's crazy. So, um, I got a couple more questions. Then gonna wrap it up. Now, my next question: This joint right here, like, so uh, I I want to make sure I ask it like like the right way to uh, make sure I get like potentially the best answer, right? So. When you are not only on set, but all your experience, and now you're looking at like potentially directing and like doing other things right. in this world, is there anyone that you wanted to work with, collaborate with, mm. that you never got a chance yeah. to work with, but you know good and well in your heart and your soul that if we was able to come together and do something, it'll be like one of the best things ever. It'll be like an instant classic. Who is that person that you would love to be like get a chance to collaborate with? I don't really feel that way anymore. You know, I oh. think that's a childlike feeling in the business. Now I'm much more, I'm much more excited now to meet people who are excited to meet me. Oh wow! So I don't have well, heroes like you that. You already know. So you already. Like, I'm excited to meet you. Because you don't, man. you don't know. It in your mind, you don't know. Some of the people that you admire may not admire you. Mm. So I've run into that. And, really. And so I'm like. It's better now to just move through life and just accept who is digging you and your work, and then it comes as a surprise, and it's like, oh wow, wow, okay, you know? I got you. That's you know but so that's, like, that's messed up though. When like you could meet somebody that you're really like, wow, and they have no reason to not like you, but they just don't because they're, they're, like, they're, they're not feeling your vibe. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, mm. like I grew up. I mean, I'll tell you one person. Like I, I grew up completely idolizing Spike Lee. Oh wow, Spike Lee. That's the that's like I just like like if you grew legend, up in my gener man. my generation, I had the forty acres and the mule jacket. Yeah, of course. Like when I even came to New York to do my first press run ever, I went to I, w I wanted to go to Brooklyn. Like all I wanted to do was go to that store 
as much as you know my mom wanted to go to Statue of Liberty and, and whatnot and F.L. Schwartz like I wanted to go to that store in Brooklyn because I knew he had set up the store and um, you know bought merch and whatnot and it was just like you know I met Spike but I don't really feel like he felt like my character was like the most authentic representation of black America mm. so because of that you know what I'm saying I just kind of get like a oh Wow. So it just, you know, you don't necessarily know who's admiring the heck out of you. So I can say that, though, and not, there's no, there's no ill. You That's know what I'm saying? No, but I feel you. You know what I'm saying? But it's just like, wow. you know, I'm at this point now, if I'm on a plane and Dave Batista comes up to me and is like, yo, I'm a big fan. I'm like, yes, you are a big fan. <laughs> <laughs> wow, man. He's guarding the galaxy. Right, right? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, and I'm shocked. Because, I, you know, again, like, you don't necessarily yeah. see a guy like Dave Batista. You know, being somebody that would, would even come up to you and say, and oh, man, say, I'm a big fan of the work you did. So That's amazing. You know, it's just kind of, that's a lesson for kids out there, yeah. too. It's like, don't, we're all humans. You know what I'm saying? You can admire somebody, definitely admire somebody. And I can even clean that up and say, yo, I admire Spike. Like, there would be no African, all this African-American film you're seeing right now, if it wasn't for Do the Right Thing, She's Gotta Have It, yeah. and all, and, and Mo Better Blues. And my mom would take me to these movies and make me put my head down during the sex scenes, because Spike liked to put yeah. sex scenes in everything. Yeah, yeah. He, 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 for the basketball movie, Spike still gonna find a way to put some <laughs> yeah, sex in there. I, <laughs> he got gay. Oh, <laughs> oh Spike freaky man. like that. Spike freaky like yo, that. Yo, yo, yo. That's so funny you say that. Like, yo, oh but I, my admi I, I admire him. What's not yeah. to admire? You know what I'm saying? Nah, that's but, amazing. Man. But he might not be my biggest fan. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> so check this out. So now it's time to give you your gifts, bro. Mm -mm. Real talk, man. So, so you can know what I'm about to give you. Uh oh. All right. So whether you play on PlayStation, Xbox, or the Nintendo Switch, this is the latest Team Sonic Racing. So I love it because my daughter has Switch. Oh, where are you cool? We lit. So big. I want to give a big shout out to Sega. You know what I'm saying? Y'all see this? You know what I mean? We got the Sonic games right here. And what was your first? What was your first reaction seeing the trailer? For the new Sonic movie, but also, you know, being a voice of Sonic the Hedgehog, you don't understand how you impacted my life. Man. It's crazy. It's sir. a little mixed, man, because I didn't get a call to reprise that role. You should have. You should have. But uh, who, who we we'll need see to talk to? We'll see what happens. We'll <laughs> who see we need what, to talk to? We'll see what happens. I, was, I would love if you got a chance to talk to I'm us. Say, I'm going to say, I'm very influential, bro. I'm telling you. I sir. have no doubt. For about real. That. You get me in a room with somebody, they'll come up and be like, you know what? Jalil's the perfect person to do this. <laughs> Hip hop, what was I thinking? Thank you for correcting me. I can do that. For real, you'd be surprised. You know what I'm saying? In Jesus' name, he'll make it happen. Trust me. You know what I'm saying? Yo, if I do Jalil. So now, big shout out to Logitech. You know what I'm saying? Logitech in the building. Now, this right here, Logitech, uh, they brought a uh, blue mic. And blue mic is one of the major microphones that a lot of gamers and streamers okay. uh, use. Uh, you know when we streaming, you know doing what we doing now. So they got the technology, the blue voice technology. So like, let's say you want a, your voice to sound like a FM radio station. We hear Hot ninety seven. You know you can sound like that, or early morning radio station, okay. or broadcast, whatever wow. you want to do. And like other pro gamers, you could download their things, so you can sound like how they would sound when they're competing. All of that. This wow. is for you, bro. Are you kidding me? Yes, this, this is, is for a, you. This is a voice changing headset. Um. No, no, it don't. It don't change your voice to sound like them. It changes your voice so it sounds like an actual broadcast. Okay. So like, cause like a lot of the microphones in the industry, the, it don't sound all that great, but the sound quality is great. This is like the first time you get everything in one. So it's the mic, it's the sound. You do realize everything. you're the first generation that gets to make money off video yeah, games. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. All we heard yeah. from our parents was <laughs> stop playing, playing the those video games. Yeah, that's now, all we ever heard. Yeah, now, trust me, it's different now. Like, you, just to let you know, what we're doing right now, people get paid fifty thousand dollars an hour. Oh, I know. No, to, I know. to do I know. this, like, I like it's. I wouldn't get paid five way. cents though, so <laughs> I need to stay in my lane for for the performance that I just put you know, up right there. You know, maybe one time. Give me a year maybe, though. Maybe one day. Pick one game and on give the... me a year. Pick one game, give me a year. We we can play some other stuff. You play you play table tennis. I play everything. You play table tennis. I will, no, not table tennis, but I'll smoke you and connect four. Or something like that. Like get one it. of those. Get it. That's, that's a very hood challenge, by the way. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> Yo, Sunday. Yo. 
make sure you come out. I can do that Queen, too. Yeah, to the Queen that. Truth can, Music Festival. I can gesticulate too. Just like that. <laughs> and we can play Connect Four and I can destroy you in 2K and all of that. Yo, I had a ball, man. I had a ball just kicking it with you, learning more about you and just your energy and your vibe as well. This is amazing, man. Like, seriously, man. Hey, man is you're a manifester. I can already see that. Thank you so much, man. Is there anything else you want to say to the fans? Or is there any uh, fans that, anybody that has questions real quick, uh, cause I gotta let Jalil go, but anybody that got questions, please leave your questions right now for Jalil. So, and, and you know, he'll answer them for you, but. TJ Ross said what up? TJ Ross, what up? TJ was cracking. Propane K1982 said what's up? And Cafe. Anybody got a clever question? Somebody gotta have a clever question. Oh, Oh, uh, look, look, look. I got you right here, right here. I got you, I got you. I hope you out. I hope you out. I appreciate the clever right. questions. All right, so, okay. I get okay. the usual stuff, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was the voice of Sonic the Hedgehog. Wow. Yeah, yeah. shout out to Jojo Lee. Yeah. Do, hey, Jojo, do you feel he should be the voice of the new Sonic in the movie coming out? Uh, what are your thoughts? What are your thoughts? Twitter's already weighed in on that one. <laughs> oh, oh, you did? <laughs> All right, cool. So, I right, yeah, shout out to Propane. Okay. All right, so look, anyway, I, I'm going to get ready to let you go. Now... You know, before we before we get out of here, this is Hot Daddy Seven. Who you listening to right now? What's who's some of your favorite uh, um, hip hop artists right now that you're checking out? Oh man, it's funny just even riding over here. Khalid came on, that put me in a good mood. A word, <laughs> um, all right, all right. Um, man, who? I mean, I do like Drake. I got it. I, yeah, I Drake is dope. Drake, Drake is dope. I like Drake. Drake is Drake. You know, he's, he's, they they say he makes music for you know sensitive negroes but I, I, <laughs> but hey i might be i, I guess i'm sensitive well I, he, held, I, he held his own i love he the, held his I, own I, in, in the battle I, with, with meek mill so i love me some aubrey and he made the playoffs that much more enjoyable <laughs> yeah yeah shout out to drake man and congrats on the championship yes big who, congrats who, who's to taking it, who, who you think is taking it this year though oh this year now so you didn't want to talk hoops um uh i think the, okay put it this way i think the lakers are going to win in two years I, I, I agree. I agree. I, but and I think, I think and they're I good think, enough. They, I think they're good enough. And I to think win the now, big sneaky but, move that they have too is Draymond's gonna be a Laker. You think? Yeah. You think Draymond comes? Nah, to they done this? set it all up, man. They done set it all up. The players all know where they move in, and he's he's rep by LeBron. He's rep by Clutch. That's true. That is true. They set it up. Yo. They set it up. Yo. Yo. So, when, so when Draymond's a Laker, and people don't understand, understand what Draymond brings to the table. Draymond is that guy that you could put on like three yep. or four different teams right now. They could win a championship. Yeah. If you put Draymond on the Utah Jazz right now, if you put Jay Dray, the way they've been reconstructed, yeah, yeah. If you put Draymond with with Dane right yeah. now, Dane, Dane, oh. if you put right, you oh my gosh, if you put Draymond with uh, the the Clippers right now, the yeah. way they're constructed, yeah, it was just by you know they it would That's, be a, yo. so he's that guy, he's that energy guy. You know what I'm saying? I, hey, Skip. The, don't try to take what Jaleel Yo, White said and use it on Fox Sports 1, so this, all right? This year is wide open. You know what I'm saying? This year, though, it's wide open. Yeah, it is. Like, anybody could get it. it the yeah, the, the, the Houston Rockets wait. could get it, uh, you know, because uh, you got to factor in injuries, too. Yeah, One or yeah, two of yeah. these cats are going to go down, and and then that's going to tip the scales, you know, in one direction or the other. So there's like six, seven teams that could get it. But next year, and LeBron keeps himself in tip-top condition. Yeah. He's a vegan. You know, dude is like he he, he quietly trying to play till he's forty. Yeah, and yeah. Not saying, uh, yeah, just he on, is. He's, on trying, low, he's trying to go on the low key. He's trying to go. So he's trying to go. I think I think next year though, it's it's a it's a lock with AD, Draymond, and 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 LeBron. Wow, that's huge. Look, man, one love and God bless. This is absolutely the legendary, the one, the only Stefan Arkell, <laughs> Steve Urkel, the one and only. Family Matters, the one and only Netflix, the one and only Jaleel White I have in the never building. been introduced like this ever, God anywhere, bless, man. anywhere. Love you, bro. Thank you so much, man. On that note, we out of here. On your hot 9-7 every day, that's my word. God bless. Peace. That's it. That's it. That's it. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. Dog, you awesome, oh, man. man. This was amazing, yo. I'm so serious. I'm like done right now. I can't believe how amazing this like all turned out, man.